So hi, everyone. My name is Vanessa. I am a developer at Wrangle.io. We're an agent JavaScript consultancy based in Toronto, Canada. So here, I'm, today I'm here to talk about Augury. Well, first thing first, what the hell is Augury? Well, Augury, in short, is an Angular 2 development aid. It's a tool built with the aim to help uh, developers understand and observe the dynamic behaviors of their Angular 2 applications better. We, Algorithm is, not, is really more than just a debugger. It does a lot more than that. Um, I'll circle back in a bit to explain what I meant by that. Uh, the tool is available as a Chrome extension. You could go uh, download it from the Chrome store later or now. If you don't want to listen to me, that's fine. Um, and it is an open source effort started at Wrangle. Uh, it began with a message from the Google core team last year to Nick, our CEO, asking if we would like to be part of um, this effort to make tools for the Angular 2 ecosystem. And of course, he said yes, and now here we are. Also, according to Wikipedia, augury is some sort of ancient bird watching practice. Apparently, um, ancient Roman people used to watch birds and try to predict future by the shape of the flocks of birds, and that's called augury. And we thought that's entirely appropriate for a tool that um, we aim to give insights to developers, much like how the ancient Roman get insights from the bird watching thing. But don't worry, using augury, the dev tool, is a lot easier than trying to predict future from watching birds. So, the official effort um, for Augury started in fall last year. We quickly whipped up a prototype and demoed it at Angular Connect back in October. As you can see, the prototype is pretty primitive, but nevertheless, it was a proof of concept to showcase what was possible, what um, kind of information we could get from the Angular core API. And fast forward till now, I think we have came, come a pretty long way. We did several rounds of usability testings internally, gathered feedback, and iterated upon it. Um, and as a result, the beta version was officially launched at NGCon two months ago. Um, as you can see, the UI is a lot more polished, and we added a few more cool and useful features, which you will get to see in a little bit. So now you may ask, or you may think, well, I'm a really good developer. I don't need no tools. Just give me Vim. Why do I need Augury? Well, that might be true. You might not need it. But I'm still here to try to convince you that Augury will make your life a little bit better. Well, let's look at how um, a complex application development process usually um, go about. You know, first you start with one component, hello world. Pretty easy um, to understand and remember. And then you get another component, more components. Oh, actually, that component needs a service. More components, more components, and other service. Well, it's getting hard to see where this component's coming from, what, it's, uh, what it needs, what kind of service um, it depends on. And soon, this is what the state of your application looks like. I mean, sure, your, app your application could still very uh, well be well architected and easy to understand, but this is what it will look like in your head because you try to mem memorize everything. And that's just the injection part. On top of that, you have routing and change detection. You're supposed to remember all of that while still be able to build amazing software. So this is where Augury comes in. That's why I said it's not just a debugger because um, it's most value added. It's really helping you as a developer understanding how all these layers and layers of abstraction come together and how they work together under the hood. And by understanding how they work together, you will be able to build better and more optimized applications. Now, that's a lot of talk of what Augury can do. I think we are ready for a demo. So first thing first, you have to install it from the Chrome store, which I won't show here because I don't trust the internet. Um, so pretend I did the installation. And uh, for the installation, you can just fire up any Angular 2 applications. There is no extra work that is needed on your end. Open up the dev tool. There should be a new tab here called Augury. Fire that up. 
right off the bat, you'll see a whole list of uh, components, currently loaded components sorted by their hierarchy. And as you roll over, there's visual cue showing you where they're located at the DOM, very much like uh, the elements tab we're all so familiar with. And as the state of the application changes, the change gets highlighted so you know exactly which component is affected based on your interaction with the app. And for each, um, what's this doing here? Um, and for each component, there's useful information on the right-hand side info panel, such as properties, providers, change detection, internal output, state, dependencies, and all that. Now, when the state um, of a component changes, it will be highlighted as well. Um, and alternatively, you can also directly change the state from the info panel. So let's say I want to make this into a different color. So there it is. Um, so for this custom element here, there is uh, an event bound to it. Every time the message changes, it will fire up a console log. So sometimes when you're prototyping, you don't want to build a custom event handler. You can trigger the event here manually as well. So it's really useful when you're just trying to try something out and you don't want to you know, spend too much time on the search so that, that wouldn't work. So there it is. Um, one thing that uh, I find really hard to wrap my head around when I was re learning Angular 2 was the dependency injection. I find it really difficult to keep track of what injected what, what instantiated what, what is dependent on what. So if you're anything like me, you'll find this injector graph super helpful. Here you can see the component hierarchy, which is, uh, shows you where the component's coming from. And this injector graph, I will explain what all this means. So for this specific component, you can see here there are four dependencies, service one, service two, format service, and DI tree. However, only the DI tree is instantiated here in, uh, within this component. You know that because the DI tree is listed as a provider here. So where do all, the, all three of these um, dependencies come from? Well, in Angular 2, when um, the, the component doesn't have the providers it need for all the dependencies, it will look up a level to the parent level to see if uh, they have the provider there. If it, if it doesn't, then it will just keep traversing up the tree until it reaches the root injector to look for appropriate provider. So in this case, uh, service one and two is actually instantiated in the demo level, as you can see here, and the format service is coming from the uh, root level. So now you can see how this could get really complicated really fast, especially when you get to cases where you have multiple instances, multiple instances of the same service instantiated at different levels of the application. That was a hell of a sentence. Um, now with that information in mind, this graph should make a lot more sense. Here you can clearly see that the, um, can you guys actually see? <laughs> I should probably ask that earlier. There you go. The gray node here, um, the demo component, has one, two, three, four uh, dependency, the red nodes here. And it's very apparent that the DI tree came from the demo component, service one and two was instantiated at the demo component, and format service was provided by kitchen sink, aka the um, root component. So this all is a lot easier than trying to keep everything in your head. Another cool um, visual feature that we have in Augury is the router tree. Here, um, it has all the current the routes that are currently available in, uh, in the app. And as you roll, roll over, you, there's more uh, information regarding each route, and it's also color-coded, so the red is just regular route, and the blue one is um, an auxiliary route. Now, mind you, this is a pretty bare bone uh, demo app, so we don't have that many routes yet. But once you start dealing with uh, applications with, I don't know, like 2,000 main routes and 2 million sub routes, this would be really, really useful. Um, one last thing I want to show you is, let's say, um, actually two things. So 
if for some reason you're not satisfied with what you can see here and you just wanted to see the debug element um, from the source, uh, whatever element that you select here, you can do dollar sign $A in the console. It will give you a, this is, um, so this is the debug element straight from the uh, Angular API. Um, so let's say this demo component, sorry, this uh, custom component isn't working as, as expected and you want to see what's going on in the source. There is also this handy view source link that would bring you directly to the source code, the TypeScript source code, so you don't have to dig through Webpack and fiddle with and try to find the source anymore. So that about sums up my demo. A little bit about Augury as a piece of application. So obviously Augury is a Chrome extension, but under the extension wrapper, Augury is really just another Angular 2 application written in TypeScript. Um, we leverage the Chrome extension API a lot for message passing and it allows uh, us to inspect whatever is um, in each tab. And we also leverage heavily or rely heavily on the Angular 2 debug API. Um, so here we have to give a special thanks to the whole uh, Angular core team for tailoring this debug API to exactly what we need, and they've been helping us tremendously along the way as well. Um, I'm not gonna go in too much in detail into the architecture, but if you're interested, we have a uh, detailed documentation on our repo, so you can feel free to check that out. So that sums up the per, uh, current state of Augury. Um, a few things about what we have planned for the future. In short term, we wanted to improve the stability and make it a little bit more bug free. Right now, Augury works really well with the small, medium, large size application, but when it comes to the XL and the XXL application, the performance could use a little bit fine tuning. And of course, we want to make sure that uh, uh, we will be able to um, support Angular 2 when it finally comes out, the official release, whenever that is. Um, and also, we're currently working to support the new, new router, um, or router 3, whatever you want to call it. And um, Augury being a very usability-driven product, we plan on conducting more uh, usability testing, gather feedback, iterate upon it. And um, lastly, in terms of long-term vision, we wanted to explore uh, more ways to help developers and make your life easier when you develop Angular 2 apps. Uh, perhaps something on the performance front, but we're not sure yet. So this is um, the general direction of what we would like to see Augury heading to. But um, Augury being an open source project, its future is largely driven by what the community wants. And by community, I meant all of you. Ever since the launch at NGConf, we've already seen quite some growth in the community. Uh, we've seen a lot of amazing people making amazing contributions in the forms of submitting PRs, raising issues when they encounter them, suggesting features or ways to make Augury better, improving documentations, um, because that's super important and often underrated. With that said, we love contributions and we welcome all sorts of, all sorts of contribution. Our um, repo lives on GitHub, so you can easily check that out. We have a lot of uh, detailed documentation on the architecture guides to get you, to get you set up quickly, and um, even a tutorial on how to go about building and debugging a Chrome extension. If you would like to see what kind of issues we need help on, they are labeled as help wanted on our GitHub issues page. And uh, we also plan to have more issues that are first timer friendly and with a lot more detailed uh, descriptions and how to go about claiming the issue, how to get started, how, uh, who to contact if you were to run into issues. Um, these are there to help people kind of overcome that first time contributing to open source mental barrier. So I hope this, all, this gets you all excited to want to be part of this community. Um, and of course, this won't be possible without our internal contributors. So here are some of the people that uh, were part of the project in different phases, different life, uh, within the life cycle of the project. And lastly, to re -re reiterate, Augury is available on the Chrome Web Store right now. 
So you can uh, go check that out. So that's it about Augury. Um, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, you can either tweet at me or come talk to me later. Or actually, do we have time for questions or? Yeah? yeah? yeah. Okay. So I guess I can take questions now as well. Thanks, Vanessa.